when you visit the template and reduce the width of the website you'll realize that we have a menu button at the top left and when you click on it the overlay navigation shows and when you click the x mark the overlay navigation gets hidden so that is done with vanilla javascript let's go ahead and implement that in our website using view so we will go to the template first and see how the logic is being achieved so here we see it's targeting a menu button then listening for a click event and after that targeting the element with the class of sidebar and adding a width of 100 percent and a z index of 5. so let's go ahead and create a class with those styles so i'll go to our vue.js app laravel and vue.js at the bottom i'll create style tag then in here i'll create a class i'll call it show overlay then here we want a width of 100 percent then z index of 5. so we want to ins uh the the menu button is clicked we want to add this class so that you can see the overlay then i'll create script tag Then here I'll create a data property. Then I return. Let's uh, call it uh, overlay visibility. Overlay visibility. And let's have it de uh, by default to be false. Then at the top, I'll go. This is where we are adding the styles in the sidebar class. So here I'll have a class dynamically. And I'll say, give me the show overlay class only when overlay visibility is true. Overlay visibility is true. So save that. So if you go back to our website, we can see that we don't see it. Let's try to add code it to true and see if it will work. So come back here. Why is this complaining? False yeah we don't need that uh, semicolon false let's try it again so we don't see it so let's change it to true and see if it will work true save yeah and it's working so we need to toggle that class dynamically so i'll have it back to false and then i'll go to the menu button it's here and i'll add a click event So at click, let's uh, call a method and I'll call it show overlay. So I'll copy this and let's go ahead and create that uh, that method. So here after this, I'll have a methods property. And the method is show overlay. And when that happens, I want to change this dot overlay visibility to true. So let's see if that's work that's working. Come back, click there. Yeah, and it's showing. So let's now implement to hide it. So what I'll do from the template, if we go back to the template, we can see that they are changing the width of the sidebar to zero. I think since we are using view, this will be simpler. We just remove that class and we'll not have it. So I'll go to the close. Where is it? search for it close button button it's here so at click let's call another method called hide overlay then let's go ahead and create that so i'll just copy this change it to hide overlay then i'll change this to false Then let's go back and see if that's working. So I click that, it's opening. I click that, it gets hidden and that's working. But now we have one problem. If I click that, then I try to click on the blog. We switch to that page at the top, but we still have the overlay. So we need to hide that. And we already have the method for hiding, which is hide overlay. So what I'll do, I'll come here where we have those links. 
select this and then I'll add here at click event so hide overlay save and let's see that come back click home and it's working so about about it's working let's try contact it's working and that's it for this lesson so see you in the next lesson where we will implement the registration and login ui and then after that we'll implement the logic to register and login cheers